back to my channel. This is Dori, I'm a teacher of English and today we're going to talk about how we read a table in IELTS Academic Writing Task 1. You can find a detailed description about the plan and strategy you should follow in Academic Writing Task 1 in these videos over here, no matter what they ask you and no matter what the picture is that you are given, is it either it is a graph, a pie chart or whatever, uh, you can follow this strategy and plan over here. But now, let's go and see in detail how you read a table. Okay, here's a table. Like It seems that it has too many information, but really, if you read it the right way, you will have no problem whatsoever. Okay, let's read it. Let's read the task together. The table below shows the entertainment preferences of a part of the population of Germany in relation to their age in millions. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Okay, so the first thing we do is to read carefully the topic, what is described, and we underlined the and we underline the important points. This will familiarize us immediately with the task. Um, so let's go. Yes, we underline of course entertainment preferences of the population Germany of a part of a population better their age in millions and of course the most important things that we are asked to do are to summarize to select and report what the main features and then make comparisons okay um, now let's have a look at the table can you see that over here the vertical column here shows the types of entertainment, watching TV, cinema, theatre, opera, clubbing. And the other line over here shows the age of the people. It starts from teens and goes on until uh, 65 plus and on. So, in this case, I think it is easier if we read the table by age. We check out the teenagers first over here. What are the highest figures? This is a question that we could ask ourselves to help us. So watching TV, it is the highest value, and cinema, 8 and 7.6 respectively. The lowest are opera and theatre. Okay, um, we do exactly the same for the rest of the age groups. We identify the highest and the lowest values. Um, of course, you cannot talk about everything in one paragraph. You will just choose to talk about and describe some things, okay? So, in your first paragraph after the introduction, that is your second paragraph, you do exactly that. You describe the information given, nothing more, nothing less, and your description is ready. You're not asked to make assumptions or state your opinion at this point, so don't worry. Just state the highest and lowest values by age. For useful vocabulary on that, you can watch this video over here. Now it is time to compare in your next paragraph. You cannot possibly compare everything. There is too much information going on here and you would need 500 words to describe that, not just a paragraph. So you will choose to compare only a few things. All right, preferably you can state something for every age group. But if you cannot do it, you can just choose a uh, three age groups and compare them together. Also, it will be very good to start by saying something general that stands for every age group. For example, you can start by saying that watching TV is very popular in all ages, with opera has, has the lowest rates, again, in all ages. Teenagers go to the cinema more than any other age group when they reach their 20s and on. In this age group over here, clubbing seems to be the most, oh well, the most popular choice, only to drop down considerably among the 30 and 40 year olds, and of course, as we move on. Again, you do not have to compare everything. These are just examples to help you. You can choose your own, but it will help you if you start from the highest, the lowest, and the stable values. Okay? Useful vocabulary about comparisons can be found in this video over here. If you do that, everything else will fall into place, will come easily. Okay, that's
that's it for today. I hope it helps. I'd love to hear from you either here in the comment section or in Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. Our links are down below in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your exam.